the Charlotte 49ers are officially on the clock here. And whew, Will Healy, I like Will Healy a lot. We've talked about him on the show for multiple years now, dating back to when he was at Austin P. Uh, going to bring them up on the screen. Went 5-7 and seven last year. Now, that's quite the uh, overachievement, I will say, because they went... Uh, 3.23 and 8.77 in post-game win expectancy last year. That should have been about 3-9. and nine. Uh, th- You won't find a bigger discrepancy between offense and defense than this bunch. You look at these guys, they did lose some guys, like some horses. Um, but man, the offense was great and the defense was abysmal. Number 36 in offensive PPA per drive and number 127 in defensive PPA per drive. There's not a bigger discrepancy anywhere in the country than that. You got to get better on defense, and you got to maintain that offense. And I, I would expect Healy to be able to do that. Uh, starting off on offense, so long as Chris Reynolds stays healthy, uh, this team is going to have a chance in pretty much every game, uh, especially with those wide receivers. You got Tucker, you got Dubose, guys like that. Uh, there's a lot of returning snaps on the offensive line. Like I like Bird, uh, the running back here, but you know. And number 64 in rushing success rate, they could probably get a little bit better at that. That would certainly serve them a little bit better. Uh, Shadrick Bird is the running back there. As far as defense, uh, nearly anything is going to be better than last season. Number 45 in returning production here, that's 68%. But the defensive roster strength, there's just not a lot of talent there. I mean, they're number 105 in the country as far as uh, roster strength goes. Um, The defensive end, Watts, is an absolute stud. I mean, just a stud, but uh, he can only do so much. You know, you, you need the three transfers, that's Sadiq, Monroe, and Jones, to show up in a big way this year. There's only 402 snaps returning at linebacker. Like, this is, this could get, they, they could look the exact same as they did. Uh, the offense, by the way, um, you know, they, they bring back 83% of the offense. These guys all know the system, and they were good in it last year. Um, keys to the season here. The defense has been the issue since Healy started. Their scoring defense last year was number 114. In 2020, it was number 88. And then in 2019, it was number 103. They brought in a new D.C., Greg Brown, who has been around the block for sure. I don't know if he can fix that. But I'm sure he's going to give it a a new world with a new scheme and a new spin on it. But we'll see. you got to fix the turnover margin, number 102. And the penalties per game stat, they were number 84 in that spot. You cannot keep beating yourself here. Uh, On top of that, with such a good offense, maybe they should boost plays per game. I mean, they were number 90 in that spot last year. If you've got a great offense, maybe try and give them the ball more. But we'll see. Healy's been a star in the making since he was at Austin P. Like I said, I've been talking about him for a long, long time. Uh, But Charlotte did take a downturn last year. You know, can he reverse this slide? And and if so, which I I think that he will, uh, I kind of expect this much to go bowling. This year, I've got them at six and six. You know, I've got uh, I got wins over William and Mary, UTEP, uh, Rice, FIU, Western Kentucky, and Louisiana Tech. Like the schedule does set up pretty well for them this year, uh, as opposed to last year. But whew, that's uh, this team. If that defense doesn't get fixed, like they are going to be in a whole world of hurt. Like this, it, it's going to be bad. It, it could really, really be bad. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you